Hello everyone, I am Lana from South Florida. I am back from my long trip and I cannot wait to see my orchids. I just arrived last night. Uh, it was 9 p.m. so I didn't get to see anything and earlier this morning it was raining. It's gloomy but I just have to check out my orchids. It's, um, I was away for five weeks, so my husband was taking care of them. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but um, from the first look around, not too bad. <laughs> Let's see here. This is my cat Leia corner, the cat Leia's that are in the pots on the poles. And looks like one is blooming. And um, I think this is Porsche. I'm gonna check out the um, the tag in a second here. This one blooms in the fall. Looks like one old flower spike that I miss. And of course, I'm very happy that he was taking care of him as watering. But um, it's okay. He would not trim the dead leaves or dead flowers heads. That's okay. Look at this one has a bunch and bunch of the uh, flower buds. This is the same as the one that is blooming. And also, they're on the way out and it looks like maybe some tree got to it. Little white spots, signs of the bugs. So, that's the name of this shoe. The one that is blooming is the same. And um, I don't see anything else blooming here. These guys are blooming in the spring. That's the Skinner Eye. And I believe this, this one is a um, hybrid of Skinner Eye, Cattleya Skinner Eye, and Cattleya Borinjiana. And I believe my Borinjiana is is maybe blooming because it's a time same time with this one i know she had a sheet before i left so we'll see it later <laughs> this was blooming like crazy when i left so lots of dry spikes and still have few that are blooming my beautiful eggplant color dendrobium so nothing looks bad here. <laughs> little need little cleaning. Look, look, I see something is blooming here. It's on the way out. So actually, it has a one there one and oh, I love you. That's the white one. And a little ant in there, but looks like everything needs to be sprayed more buds everything needs to be sprayed for the trip because I see some damages on the flowers before I left I sprayed it with fungicide and and pesticide but it's been <laughs> five weeks so this corner looks like everybody doing pretty good this is my um, <laughs> cactus, the Christmas cactus. Look a little bit sad, but nothing too bad. <laughs> All right, this little mess here, everywhere. Those guys are doing okay. This is big, gigantic um, dramatophyllum. Looking fine, looking fine. Look at all the leaves. I think it got that uh, sometimes it got black hue under the leaves. This is not fungus, this is comes off, it's like the the plant juice with a little bit of with the green stuff, not the moss, but uh, it's not a fungus, so it can be cleaned. Look at you. <laughs> oh, they're so wet. So, the flower spikes are 
leaning down they're so long I probably gonna split the video in two because I just have to see each and every of them and check out everything so this is Tintrobia this is the name and <laughs> oh my gosh look at all the roots so originally I put it in this broken pot and then it started growing pretty fast so I put it in the other pot and just put a little bit of charcoal in it and this pot has holes all over the place so roots are going everywhere oh my god <laughs> See you guys, it's grew so many roots since I was gone. Because when I'm here, I check everything. I move them around a little bit, make sure no roots are growing into the stems and each other. <laughs> but now, it's gonna be a lot of work ahead of me. <laughs> so this stand, let me stand far enough back, but not fall in a pool. Before I left, it had so many flower spikes and they've been blooming, but I've noticed the few of them actually broke off. The canes got so long and my husband said it was uh, um, raining so hard that a couple of them from heavy blooms also just tipped over, broke off. The plant is not gonna die and actually it starts growing more flower spikes. I see two of them, one there, one there. So it's gonna be fine, but it did have like four or five flower spikes, so that they didn't make it, but not a big deal. Nothing deadly going on here. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at you guys love him love him so messy but i'm just gonna do a little bit of cleaning a little bit of spraying look how many flower spikes here happy happy here is a little bit shaggy <laughs> oh my this needs a lot of work looks like lots of trips here going on See how damaging flowers are. This too much water. Lots of dry flower spikes. Same here. They just been eaten away. I need to spray them as soon as possible. More flower spikes. This is from too much water. All the dendrobiums do not mind to get wet but i think because here is no roof they it's been raining i was told a lot so 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 lots and lots of work we have a bunch of flower spikes here. here this guy is blooming i don't think this one stopped blooming since last spring Oh, something get into this box because this gonna fall. Just one left. Hey, I'm so happy to see my orchids. <laughs> I don't know who I miss the most. I would say my dog, <laughs> then my orchids, then my husband. Is it so bad to say? <laughs> but I think it's an exact in that order. <laughs> I hope he didn't hear me. Oh my God, this is huge, huge, huge. Look at this flower spike. Oh, wow. But it's so heavy that it's pulled this orchid all the way down. I need to tie her up. That's the one from the, this big clay pot and that's big chan blue. I have few Pichara delights there. So this is okay. I would say just too much water. Looks like they all were blooming. <sighs> the quality of the video is not so good. I wanna see you beautiful. 
huge flowers. Look at this. Huge. I love them. This color is insane. Okay. Alright. I see a bunch of flowers there, but I believe there are lots of damages from the trip. Okay, let me pause for a second. So, so far, no dead plants. <laughs> I am so happy. Now I stepped outside where my vendors are. And let's check this out. The moss is overgrown. Looks like some of the passion fruit survived. Getting new growth here and there because i didn't chop it down the whole thing i left the the main stem looks like it's growing some new branches though so we'll see how it's gonna go if it's not gonna give me any fruits i'm gonna chop it down yes this is my compote palm that has dendrobium some vienda style orchids and cattleyas and who knows what else <laughs> still have a few flowers here and this cattleya have a big sheet here but i don't know there is one also with the sheet oh look at this so the seed pod oh my goodness that's the um this is the one trichoglotus that was blooming before I left. Beautiful and very fragrant burgundy color flowers. Everything is alive here on this tree. <laughs> oh my god, what I see, what I see, this baby! Yellow! Oh my gosh, my my son's friend gave it to me several years ago. Erin, if you see it, look at this. Thank you so much. This is first time it's blooming for me and I think I have it at least four years, at least. And I just wasn't so happy wherever I put it. Finally, finally, those yellow beautiful flowers love it love it lots of new roots here she does look like a little bit palm tree because she lost some leaves uh, during the cold spells last year but oh my god finally you're blooming for me it is this is it erin it's blooming <laughs> look what we have next to it blooming i don't know it's not a season but what do i know sometimes orchid do what they want to do this this is Arida odorata the the huge plant that i have that had 24 or 25 flower spikes this year a uh, little bit different this one has a yellow in there i don't know what to call it the leaf because it looks so different pinkish um petals and sepals and that yellow yellow leaf <laughs> it's a young plant but it should bloom for me before and i thought it would bloom in the spring but it decided to bloom something bloom here i see lots of flower spikes oh my god hello this is the first flower spike for this those are my baby vendors from moths orchids this is first time bloomer i mean first spike <laughs> oh my god i love it love it you guys i'm so excited to see my orchids i love absolutely love to go spend some time with my parents I help them a lot you know just being with them is awesome but I do miss my home <laughs> here is my safe place where 
you know, I love to come and take care of my little things and just enjoy this. This is a big joy for me. Oh, look at this, guys. I'm gonna open up soon. Yeah. Who are you? <gasps> what is this? Yes, first time blooming. This is actually new edition. This is from Home Depot, the bagged baby vienda. Renan Vina Magic Wand. I cannot read it. So it's vienda type. I bought it because it oh second second spike. <laughs> so it's double. You know, it's set for $17 to get this little plant that is double. And look, guys, it has, each of them have a flower spike. I guess my hubby was doing such a good job. I see you. I see you. Oh, I need to spray it. I don't like the way the flower buds are curling like that. It might have trip on them. This is, this is this one haven't been blooming in forever and i guess i lost the oh i have it this is kind of shamburgia type orchid leia cat leia vivi resimena arosimena i e i butchered it but this is the closest i could say but um it does have this stuff on it. It always had these black spots on it. And I do see like on a new growth starting the same thing. I used to keep it farther away from everything, but um, since I'm spraying everything often, like regularly, it ends up hanging here. So I guess I couldn't find the, the other room for it. But since I replanted it mounted it this is first time it's blooming but i have to spray right now at least with the um, that red sprayer what it called mm -hmm. dime no i forgot what is it oh something bloomed here <laughs> oh that's different one hold on this is separate but they're on the way out oh i missed you there you are and you're gonna fall off probably tomorrow of today seven the, sp the red bottle spray i was talking about seven or seven so this is shamburgia type and i think it's some kind of hybrid um i forgot the name oh there it is there it is oh nothing there Anyway, it's a hybrid, some kind of Myrmecophila or Schomburgia. This is my Louis Fuge that bloomed out. And <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, I'm just choking from being happy and excited in my little garden. <laughs> so, oh, smells so good, smells so good. Yes, Violetta Benjan is blooming. And that's the Kiki from the big girl and mama is blooming too. She actually has two flower spikes. They're just starting to open up. And on the same pot here we have uh, Mimi Palmer that is pretty much done. I knew the baby was blooming too for first time. Oh no, baby bloomed before this was added this mimi palmer little one here that one i bought in in home depot as the bag baby orchid so it didn't bloom yet but it took off pretty good it's already attaching itself to the pot and looks like doing pretty good lots of dead flowers <laughs> oh you guys i'm so excited to get it clean new flower spikes oh my goodness and this one this one bloomed for me i had like three or four flower spikes from it but it takes forever for flower spikes to grow 
this one is it's not gonna be blooming probably till next spring that's how long it takes for this particular one to grow flower spikes so it's brethren orchids and this is the name it has kind of pink flowers look like you know shamburgia type there we go oh hello <gasps> hello look at this manunia have a new flower spike yes baby <laughs> you're so pretty but she is very attractive to thrip. So every time I see, as soon as I see flower spike, I spray it with the seven. Several times, just make sure. <gasps> Look at this. I don't like these little boogers. Those are bad guys. <laughs> Hello. I didn't know you. Oh, it's a dragonfly. So cute. All right, how long has it been? 20 minutes. We still can do some more. All right, this, these are um, one, two, three Sologenes I have. Two of them, Rashushenii. Rash, Rash and <clears throat> this one bloomed for me like crazy last season. This season I decided to skip and I believe I moved it away into a little more shade and it wasn't so happy so because at the time i had all this black stuff on the leaves i was freaking out i was not sure what was happening but she's fine she just needs a little more sun and when i find the right spot for her she's gonna be just fine this is another my grammatophilum Oh boy, lots of work and weeding and <laughs> I have to get out of here. See what else we have here. You guys, oh, it just like, they're all good. They're all fine. It just, they were deprived of my love. <laughs> no love. <laughs> This is Shiriliana. She's doing pretty good. And you guys, you know, I struggled with her for a long time. I felt like all her leaves were so soggy and soft until I decided just put her here where a lot of water, like the rain, the sprinklers. So she's not in the pot. She's mounted in this basket. I also put a little bit of um, fiber there fern tree fern fiber so i think this this is the species philanopsis shiliriana that needs to have plenty of water see her her leaves finally plumped up pretty nice okay i am so happy Everything looks good so far. There's a Hoya climbing up the palm tree. <gasps> oh, something fall over here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -oh. All right, the two that fall off that hook, the shepherd hook, are doing okay. Doing okay. <laughs> and again, I just have to catch my breath. I'm so excited. I'm so excited with my orchids to see them doing well. Um, this is um, Nadosa. Nadosa. She's a species. Have few flower spikes and couple of them blooming. Some um, look damages from the slugs maybe and the bugs. This one looks like a um, the pot, the seed pot. But overall she's doing good. She's attached to the wooden um, mount and she's doing good lots of new flower spikes one two three four five six are coming and two are blooming the other one that fold this baby looks like a couple of sheets three 
at least three I see and this is a thing oh, morning glo uh, morning glory there we go this is the beautiful one yes I see you yes I see you this is Catlia Beringiana that's the species that's the um the one we saw in the beginning of the video was a hybrid of Beringiana and Skinneri and that's the Beringiana itself I'm saying it's so wrong I feel like Beringiana Catlea I think the new name is Gurante no, um, that's the name um, the, the, the genome <laughs> do I say it right? but I love them so this one comes blooming in the fall and skin awry looking so similar to the flowers but they bloom in the, in the spring this is the white variety skin awry doing good doing good everything I see this one was on the floor I found her too but no damages probably just fall off um, over last night this is a um, encyclia not time for blooming but she's doing well I have a <laughs> there's a green mess here lots of Spanish moss that overgrown it's everywhere it loves the uh, the rain got so much of it <laughs> so there is a Hoya pretty not blooming I have lots of little babies here um, remember the babies I got from Maui exotic orchid place um, from Hawaii and they were teeny tiny I repotted them uh, last spring and they I didn't lose any so far I'm just checking I think like everything I see is green I don't see no dead plants I'm so happy. My little babies. <laughs> they are doing good, doing good. Look at this. Here is on this um, little metal trellis. Most of them, my little babies that I mounted. So they get a little bit of morning sun and then shady from the palm fronts. So enough of sun for little babies. So they don't get burned out but do still get some sun and so these all guys are newly newly mounted newly newly potted like my little nursery here and everybody doing great and <laughs> so this one is a um, little bigger plant giving me two flower spikes I knew it's gonna happen because the before I left the canes were maturing two new canes this is the Lailea Ludiminiani Ludimini <laughs> that's a species and that's one of the purchase from the big show that we have it was a bare root these two big canes with the, with the spots that when I bought them they were spotted so the new rest of them grew new and they're doing fine I don't see much of the spots on them but I do spray it regularly just to keep it in the under control so yes you too <laughs> this is another one Schimburgia type this one I got at the Boca Raton Society Orchid Show in February Schimburgia undulata and this is the Alba type so it should be white and there is a new cane new spike super excited even you yes I thought I'm gonna lose you little baby but I see two new grows there so when the cattleya are mounted they really need a lot of watering not a lot i mean daily especially if it's on the cork 
pork doesn't retain water for long and cat lays just love it love it okay i don't know should i pause or should i go <laughs> oh my gosh i'm like losing my breath from all this excitement so this one we saw on the other side yes that's the one that getting few spikes flower spikes but it's gonna take forever look at this little baby little lizard yes we see you love 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 this orchid she blooms pretty often and for a little girl she gets long flower spikes sometimes it branched out and that's the chain of fire red flowers love her no spikes here this baby blooms all the time i talk about her every time i film because she blooms all the time that's the miniature um, vienda orchid from mods orchids that's the quantum mods quantum cute little flowers on a little plant this one is already bloomed out but you know guys you've seen her a lot okay this one i miss the blooms but okay no you bloomed bloomed nothing here i'm just so happy i don't see any dead plants i mean so far so good you guys <laughs> i see lots of bloomed out ones and lots of flower spikes <gasps> there is another one there is another flower spike so i mean dead leaves that's okay oh you are new you're new you're new this is mods orchids i believe that's a baby orchid from mods orchids that's the first bloom but because i have not seen anything like that kind of waxy little flowers spotty with this purple lip yes where is you oh there you are venda mods multiverse and it's uh, the hybrid of these two guys yikes you guys i'm telling you every each and every vienta that i got from mods orchids doing so well i got them babies you know and i grew them and even little babies are blooming <laughs> so in my environment they're doing so well i would buy from them anytime my nut is blooming hello hello yes i'm happy to see you i'm happy to see you and this is blowing pit price that's a fragrant one kind of citrusy fragrance right now it's kind of greenish with red spots but it gets more yellow when it matures so we have a new flower spike this one had a flower spike before i left and it's bloomed out so i did not see you blooming that was my first bloom that i missed <laughs> yes we we see you yes there you i'm sorry i'm so excited i cannot help myself <laughs> oh okay this is also from mods orchids the the small ones my baby's ones that bloom before she bloomed he uh, it bloomed twice this is her short flower spike and it's just a few flowers there one of my favorites see you guys mommy is not home and nobody sprays you so oh my gosh this one is so fragrant it's like bubblegum fragrance love it love it I have two of them I love it so much that I got two of them and look it grew two babies there I do not believe I had it with two babies <laughs> teeny tiny I think it just grew since I was away do you have a it should have a I'm looking for a 
for uh, there we go for the name <laughs> oh my gosh you guys I think I'm gonna stop the video and start another one because I just have to see each and every of them and I'm I hope you enjoyed this video too <laughs> it's been a while this one is very fragrant oh my I'm so happy to see you guys little orange that was a baby big baby from home depot it said pink but it's orange to me and they're very fragrant and she bloomed i think it's a short bloom for me and look how little it is and it's blooming already like short time i do see like two old dry spikes there this one Home Depot baby too, the bag baby, which I was surprised with the color. I thought it would be in pink for some reason. And she also bloomed a couple times for me already. This is like third or four bloom because we have one, one, two, three, four. This is fifth time it's blooming. She's a good bloomer. <laughs> No, I think first time she gave me two flower spikes. There you are. No blooms on you. What's up here? Here, here, here. Alrighty. Oh, one of my favorite red one. That is the um. Uh, what was it? Udamachi Beauty. She's beautiful hello i see the flower spike here and you are oh this is pretty one red big flowers big red flowers yes but that yellow one you guys took a while for her to recover and bloom for me is a flower spike over there that's the white one gorgeous white orchid diamond something Nepron Vienda Nepon White Diamond. That one came from Home Depot. It was a baby orchid. The flowers get so big. So she got lots of spots though. Like a fungus spots. That's okay. We're gonna deal with it. Oh the little sweet pea has a flower spike. <laughs> baby you know what i almost feel like she bloomed when i left or maybe it's a second spike <laughs> she's still blooming no okay you are a new bloom aren't you <gasps> look at that my babies the moths orchids babies moths orchids this is the first time bloomer i'm excited it's gotta be something orange I remember on the picture that's my baby orchids from Moots. Love it! Yes, looks pretty healthy. I see no bug damages. Okay, you guys, I'm going to pause. I mean, stop this video. I'm gonna start second one because there's some more to see.